As you approach Minthara, you feel her mind reaching out to yours, tentative and curious. Then it retreats, soft as a whisper. Sorry, old habits. I did not ask permission. When we first met, I did not think we would ever share anything more than an uneasy alliance, born of our mutual enmity for the Absolute. I was wrong. A deeper bond has grown between us. I trust you. But I would like to touch your thoughts again, now that my mind is my own. May I? Of course, I do not hide anything from you. When the Absolute fell silent, I thought I would be alone. I expected to spend my days among surface dwellers who knew nothing of my culture. I did not expect to meet one still sworn to Loth, who would understand me. I did not expect you. I have been told that I am special since my mother first held me in her arms. The burden of expectation. Before the Absolute, I lived a life of certainties. I knew that I was destined for greatness because I was born to it. I also knew that my inherited privilege came with a cost. That the bonds of fellowship and family could be broken by envy and ambition. I could not enjoy the taste of food for fear of poisoning, and I could not enjoy the company of lovers and friends because I feared they hid knives behind their smiles. In spite of the danger, I was happy. I knew myself, and I understood the world around me. Now, nothing is certain. Without Lolth, without the Absolute, without my home, I do not know myself. But you do, I think. Show me myself through your eyes. Let me see what I am to you. She joins her thoughts with yours, and you are as one. You share in her strength of mind and formidable will, but also the doubts that eat at her conviction. Those doubts cluster in swarms, and the thickest is around her sense of self. She pushes past, revealing the image of her you hold in your mind. What does she see? The cold shell of Minthara's mind melts away, and you are drawn into the heart of her. Warm, passionate, and dangerous. I have never lacked confidence, but this conflict seems so much bigger than the two of us. It frightens me. I do not know if we will survive it. But whatever life remains to us, I would gladly spend it fighting at your side and lying with you at night. Her mind touches yours, feather light and hesitant. A stark contrast to the confidence with which her thoughts intruded on yours in the past. Tonight, there will be no voices, no orders, no gods. I belong only to you. <laughs> 